Hello everyone. Today we will be sharing about Execution Manager in Adaptive AutoSAR. This is most important component in Adaptive AutoSAR. As its name said, Execution Management is the main component in Adaptive Platform to control every aspect of execution, including application executions and machine execution. You can think about how your PC boots up and shuts down. As we said in our last video, the main purpose of Adaptive AutoSAR now is to run a high computing performance machine, and they aims to scandalize everything in it. Adaptive AutoSAR platform can run on hardware or hypervisor environment. Execution Manager is the first executable started in AutoSAR Adaptive platform. It then start other services and applications. Normally in non-automotive grade system if you start an application, you let OS decide the way it running and how much resource it used but then no one can guarantee how well it run. And how much resource it consumed during runtime. But now it is controlled by manifest file. Execution manifest for executable and machine manifest for whole machine. So, what is execution manifest? Execution manifest file to configure execution of an adaptive application. An execution manifest is created at integration time and deployed onto a machine together with the executable to which it is attached. It supports the integration of the executable code and describes the configuration properties, startup parameters, resource group assignment etc. of each process, i.e., started instance of that executable. Basically, it defined where executable file located, which command and parameter to start it, where to look for the path and so on. Before going to the details, we must understand some basic concept when talking about execution environment in Adaptive AutoSAR. A function group is a set of modeled processes which need to be controlled consistently. Depending on the state of the function group, processes are started or terminated. There are two kind of function group in Adaptive AutoSAR. Machine function group and standard function group. Processes can belong to more than one function group state. But at exactly one function group, machine FG, is a function group with a predefined name which is mainly used to control machine lifecycle and processes of platform level applications. Other function groups are sort of general purpose tools used, for example, to control processes of user level applications. So, from now everything in adaptive AutoSAR platform we control it mostly via function group, by set it to many function group state like on, off, running. Function group then decide which process need to be run in specific scenarios. Including whole machine. You can set machine state to on or off or startup it will control whole machine startup or shutdown. Here is example how execution manager can control the process via function group state. Process A linked to FG1, running. This process is started first, as it doesn't have any execution dependencies configured, and automatically enters running. And A can be termined at any point of time during FG1 running. Process B is started after process A. Please note that A and B are also standard AutoSAR processes, enter running state. Process B can use project-specific method to assess if process A is fully functional and signal this to execution management by reporting, or not, K running state. Process C is started when, and only when, process B enters running process state. Process D has terminated execution dependency configured to start only when process A terminated so now is the time D started. Above is very basic concept about execution manager. If you like this, please subscribe for more videos. Also, all information is available in AutoSAR website. Feel free to check it out. See you in next videos.